Hey kids, today we will be teaching you guys about the rules of the road and safety guidelines to follow. My name is Angelina. I'm Nina. I'm Matt. And I'm Veronica. And we're nursing students at Carroll University. So first we're going to just be asking you some questions. Um, how many of you ride your bike or walk to school? And then if so, what do you guys do to stay safe? And what are some rules to follow when you're crossing the street? Next thing we're gonna be doing is getting you guys into groups of four and doing a little um, activity. So on your tables are sheets of paper that we're gonna have you put in order. Um, and then after we'll just make sure you have the right order. Okay, so here's some basic safety rules before you start. Um, these pertain to all of things when crossing the street or riding a bike or walking. Um, so we have a little poster to help you guys remember these. Uh, the first one you're going to do is find a safe place to cross. So this can be crosswalk, on the sidewalk, um, but make sure you stop before you enter the crosswalk or enter the road. Um, while you're stopped, you're going to look and listen for trains, cars, or anything else that could be dangerous to you when you're crossing the road. Um, when you're stopped, you're going to let the traffic, the traffic pass before you enter the road. Um, and then make sure you're not running while you're crossing the road. Okay, so this is some bike safety rules um, because some of you said that you ride your bike to school and I'm sure some of you ride your bikes in your neighborhoods or play with your friends. Um, so the first one is gonna make sure your bike is the right size for you because if it's too big or too small, it could be unsafe and you can fall off and hurt yourself. Um, always make sure you wear a helmet. This is super important because if you fall off and hit your head, that could be a big problem. Make sure your shoes are tied um, because if they're untied, they could get stuck in the wheel and then big problem. Um, if you want to make sure you wear bright clothing so that people can see you driving in cars and at nighttime. Um, ride near the curb facing cars. So for this one, you're going to always want to ride on the right side of the road so that the cars are um, facing you, coming at you, so they can see where you are. Um, ride single file so that none of you are taking up too much of the road and that the cars have enough room to pass you. Obey traffic signs. So later on, we're going to tell you about some traffic signs and what you should be aware of and what they mean. Um, always shoulder check or look both ways before you move. So you're going to want to check left, right, left, right again, and then look and listen before you cross the road. Be careful near parked cars because you don't know when they're going to be moving. Watch out for moving cars because moving cars can be dangerous to you if you're walking on a bike. Ride straight across the tracks at a railway crossing because if your tire gets stuck in the railroad, you could fall down and hurt yourself. And make sure you walk your bike across a pedestrian crosswalk because if you're riding your bike and you fall off in the middle of the road, that could be a problem for cars if they don't see you when you're on the ground. Uh, some more tips that we have are uh, traffic lights. Are, they're, yes, they're used for cars, but we have to obey them as well. Uh, green means go, yellow means slow down, and red means stop. Uh, when getting in and out of the car, uh, make sure you get on Get out of the car on the sidewalk side away from the road. Um, wear a seatbelt every time you're driving in a car and when in the back seat of the car uh, try not to distract the driver. Uh, here's a good picture of a seatbelt in the right position and here's a good picture of getting out of the vehicle on the crosswalk on the sidewalk side rather than into where the cars come. And when crossing a busy street, you always want to make sure that you press the walk sign button before crossing so that you definitely know um, when it's safe to go. You want to stay on the sidewalk far away from the road. If you're too close to the road, it's more dangerous for you and you might end up getting hurt by a car. Make sure you pay attention to what is going on around you. If you see the red hand, do not go. Wait on the sidewalk and that's on the walk sign button. And again for the walk sign button, if you see the man sign, you want to look both ways two times and make sure no cars are coming and then you're safe to cross the street. If you see the numbers counting down next to the hand, do not enter the road. But if you're already crossing, continue crossing and make sure you, don't, you do not run or play in the street because that could be dangerous. You could trip or fall and if you're playing with your friends, you might not hear or notice things that are happening around you. And do not wear headphones when walking or riding a bike because that cancels out the noise. And again, it's gonna be more unsafe if you don't hear stuff that's going around you. Okay, so these are some of the signs that we were talking about before. Most of these are for cars, but again, if you know what they mean for cars, you can expect what the cars are gonna be doing when you're crossing. So the first one is a traffic light, which we went over before. 
Um, the next one is a crossing guard. These are gonna help you cross the street to make sure that you pay attention to what they're telling you and do what they say. Um, the crosswalk, that sign there means that there is a crosswalk and it's safe to cross and that the cars know that this is where people will be crossing. Next is a railroad crossing. These are important because if you're on a bike and you don't know that there's a train coming, that could be bad and you, can, you need to be aware of what that sign means. Um, the don't walk is the stop, the button on the stoplight that we were talking about before. If you see that sign, it means do not enter the road. And if you see the one below it, the man, makes sure, that means that you are okay to cross the street. Um, then this sign is a bike path, so that means that you are okay to ride your bike in that area. And then this road work one is for cars, but if there's unsafe road conditions, the cars are gonna be driving a little differently, so you need to be aware of that. Next one is a yield sign, and that means that the cars are gonna be slowing down, so you should be aware of that. The next is a school zone, so that means the cars know that you're coming and there's gonna be kids there, so they know that you're there. Um, the next one is no biking, so that means you should not be riding a bike in that area. And the next is that there's kids at play, so cars know that they're, they should be aware of children, but they don't always see those signs, so make sure you're always aware at all times. So now we're gonna play a little game called Safe or Unsafe. We're gonna designate this side of the room as the safe side and this side as the unsafe side and I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions and then when you know the answer I need you to get up and walk to the side of the room that you think it is so the first question is you should run when you are crossing the street that is unsafe so you all should have moved over to the unsafe side of the room um, you should never run when crossing the street <clears throat> the second question is look both ways two times before crossing the street that is safe. And so you should always check during, uh, tr for traffic each way uh, a couple times to make sure that it's okay to cross. The next is crossing the street while listening to music. That is unsafe. We said that we don't want you to wear headphones or anything when crossing the street because it'll cancel out any noise that you might hear in the car. Uh, the next one is you should always wear a, a, bike, a helmet when riding a bike. That is safe. Always have your equipment on when riding a bike. The next one is getting out of the car on the side on the street side, um, and so that is safe because we don't want you to get out of the car where the traffic is. And the next question is wearing a seatbelt in the back seat of the car. That is safe because um, you should always be belted when you're driving in a car. And the last one is a tough one. It's riding a bike across the street. That is actually unsafe. Uh, we want you to get off your bike and walk it across this crosswalk. Okay, so now we're also gonna play another game. We're gonna play bingo. And this is gonna go with the road signs that we just learned a couple slides back. Um, I'm gonna pass out these sheets and I'm gonna make uh, like 28 copies. And each kid's gonna get a sheet of paper. And then to mark their answers, they're just gonna use their pencil and then I'm gonna have them listen to me while I describe a sign, and then they're gonna raise their hand and answer what sign that they think I'm describing, and then they're gonna be able to cross it out. So some of the questions that I have for bingo are um, eight sides in red, that's gonna be a stop sign, and then yellow diamond, three colors that say go, wait, and stop, it's a stop light. A railroad crossing is a yellow circle and with an X and two R's on it. Red is a color that means stop, no biking zone, person on a bike with an X over it. Yellow color, that means wait. Bike zone, yellow diamond with a bike. Pedestrian crossing, a yellow diamond with one person on it. Green is a color that means go. Construction ahead is an orange diamond. Walk sign on, a sign that shows a person on it. It's white and tells you it's safe to cross the street. And that should be when the first person gets a bingo. Walk sign off, a sign that shows a red hand tells you